A variety of exercises are needed to make sure every body part is trained. This is common. This is extremely common. It goes back to what we just addressed. If you select the general large structural barbell exercises like squats, deadlifts, presses and bench presses, and you select them on the basis of their performance tailored to involve as much muscle mass over a longer, the longest effective range of motion, lifting the heaviest weight, then you have involved all of the muscles of the body. Um, we were talking about this Sunday afternoon. Your calves are working very, very hard in a squat and in a deadlift. Now, you don't know that because they don't get sore. But soreness and working hard are two completely different things. Soreness and the perception of soreness means that you did a bunch of eccentric work to which you were not adapted. That's all it means. Soreness does not ensure muscle growth. Absolutely, it does not. It is possible to go six months on a novice linear progression and get sore about three times. The first two or three workouts, you'll get sore. The rest of it does not produce even noticeable amounts of soreness, while at the same time, your squat is going up five pounds of workout. Your deadlift is going up five pounds of workout. You're getting stronger every single week. Soreness, not being a factor. So training for soreness is not the same thing as training for stress. Training for soreness is, uh, oh, atonement, absolution, you know, self-flagellation, these sorts of things. You've got some psychological debt you're trying to pay. If you're just trying to be sore all the time, uh, you're not looking at this process clearly. A variety of exercises only ensures that you're going to get sore, all right? And soreness is not a factor in the production of strength. Going up five pounds on your squat every workout is the primary factor in the production of strength. Lifting more weight is what makes you stronger. But don't you have to uh, confuse muscles? Muscle confusion results from the idea that exercise variety is a factor. Now let's look back. The squat involves everything in the body under the bar. Because you're going to squat down, you're st going to stand back up. Including your calves. All right, people think you have to do calf raises to work calves. No, no, that's not what happens. You don't need to do calves. And during the course of taking a 155-pound kid up to 205, his calves are going to grow an inch, inch and a half during that process without doing any calves because the squat works everything. If you couple the squat with the deadlift, with the overhead press and with the bench press, and then you chin and you do your cleans, every muscle group, every muscle belly in the body gets work. You may not be aware of it because they're not sore. But that doesn't mean they're not working. And if you want to understand how your calves work when you're squatting and deadlifting, all you need to do is rupture an Achilles tendon. And I assure you, you will become aware of things that you were not aware of before about what your calves do when you train. Uh, Oh, that's really, I mean, you could, I guess you could rupture the Achilles tendon just as an experiment, you know, wham with your knife, you know, just so you'll know, just so you'll know what I'm telling you is true. All right. So no variety of exercises is designed to produce soreness. Uh, if the program is being sold on the basis of soreness, like P90X, CrossFit, all these muscle confusion things. Uh, soreness is an immediate gratification thing that people can learn to associate with, with exercising, all right? But soreness is not 
a factor in training. Now, we've discussed the difference between training and exercise many times. It's an excellent article on our website called The Two-Factor Model of Sports Performance. I suggest you read it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you're interested in being sore, and that's all you're interested in, as some kind of proof, some kind of validation that what you're doing that afternoon is productive, then you're exercising and you're not training. We're here to train, okay? Uh, 